And we're live. And I forgot to turn on my mic. No, it was on. It's not on. Here you it is. Turned it off. I just turned it off. Sorry, guys. We're getting started. We're getting started off. On the right foot. On the wrong foot. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome. It's been a long week, and it's only Tuesday. So I'm so glad that y'all are here. It's going to be a fairly quick live tonight because I am totally exhausted. Uh, we had a 16 hour drive home yesterday and uh, from Missouri. We had a great time up there. We were up there at a reality show uh, called Gutted and it was so much fun. So look for a lot of content coming out of this past weekend. All right, you know the drill. Let us know where you're joining us from let us know if you're new to our live and let me know if you're watching this live or you're watching it as a replay. I appreciate that. I really do keep up with those stats. Okay, so tonight we're going to do something really, really simple. And the reason I wanted to do that is one of the designs, the demos that we did this past weekend was basically this finish minus the spray paint down the middle. Um, I literally just threw that on there to see what it would do. I've never done it before, but we're going to see what it looks like. So here are, first of all, I'll have uh, Kenny show you guys what I've done so far. So everybody say hi to Kenny. He's in the background. So y'all like say, say hello. No, that's not true. I'm always in the background. You and you and Mitch did a live oh, I know, last but week, and it I was amazing. Always... Guys, let Kenny know how much y'all appreciated his live last week, him and Mitch. It came out amazing. We actually used that shower panel um, example that they did. We used it at this show this past weekend, and everybody fell in love with it. Okay, so this is what we've done. We have an MDF board. We've painted it with uh, the uh, stone coat countertop undercoating in black. Let it dry. And then we came over. And the reason I have two colors here is so that I can show you guys what a silver would look like and what a gold would look like. I wouldn't necessarily do both of them on a countertop. I mean, you could. Um, but I want you guys to be able to see which one how it looks. So I've used the gold metallic and this is the uh, the high shine fast dry metallic. It's the one with the really um, shiny top. And then I've used, I've come in with the Ace uh, Aluminum. I got that at, uh, I don't know, one of Ace the Ace Hardware. Hardware. It yeah. says it right oh, on yeah. the top. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I told you I was tired, y'all. Alrighty, so just put two lines down the middle and uh, very simple guys. I have done some finishes like this where my whole top is mainly black and then we just run a white vein and that's what we're gonna do. But then we're gonna have the silver and the gold as an undertone, all right? Uh, here are the colors that we're gonna use. Super, super simple tonight. We're gonna be using white opaque dye and black opaque dye and color passion white shimmer. If y'all have not used this white shimmer, it is so pretty. If you don't have this white shimmer, you can use the uh, white mica powder. That's also available on our website. All of these are available on my website. Um, and then we're gonna come in with some diamond dust in clear and some gold dust just in clear okay and you can see i didn't do it i don't know if the camera is even going to pick it up but i didn't do it very opaque i mean there's not a ton of the diamond dust in there i don't want it to be so much diamond dust that it causes the epoxy to kind of change colors okay then what we're going to do we're going to start off with black opaque dye Woo! my cup's getting warm i mixed this up quite a while ago all right, so we're gonna come in with our black opaque dye, tinted very opaque. And I'm just gonna pour this down. I already had a little bit of clear on here just from my emptying my cup, but it's not a real big deal. 
I may have to stand on a stool here. All right, so that's just the black opaque. Then I'm going to come in with some black mica powder. Also available on the website. You can also use pewter. Would kind of give you the same look. There's really not a true black mica powder or metallic. And also, there's some, there's some confusion. When we say metallic powders, or you go onto our website where it says metallic powders, metallic powders, mica powders, those are interchangeable. They're the same thing, okay? Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna come in with the black. Just kind of pour that in there. All right, got that. All right, so I'm gonna take that and just kind of meld it a little bit. I'm gonna torch it, actually. Warm it up a little bit. Everybody say hi to our moderators out there. They're out there. All right, I got the best in the world. Just to let you know, they're the best. All right, so I'm just melding that. Now, I'm not over melding it. I want to have distinction between my black and my mica powder. All right, and I'm just going to kind of bring that just a little bit into the gold, not a lot. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And I know black is really hard for you guys to see. But I'm just going to take it and put it over there, run my hands over the edge. Remember, we always round over those edges with a quarter inch round over bit so that our epoxy will flow really nicely and not develop surface tension and give us some beautiful edges. Also, I take my fingers rub my fingers up underneath there so let us know did any of you guys see the lives that we did when we were up um, in Missouri it was Mitch and Luke and Keith and I we had so much fun and met some amazing people I had no idea that the RVer RVers, I guess you'd say that, the RV life was as popular as it is. I had no idea. Okay, so we've got that lined out. Now I'm going to come in, and I have a little bit of black on my hand, and that's okay, because I'm going to put a little bit of that black into my white. All right, I'm going to start off. Now I've got white opaque dye tinted very opaque. If y'all have heard me talk here lately, I talk about how I tint it to where it looks like skim, I mean a uh, whole milk. Alrighty, I'm going to save a little bit in the cup. Now I have the shimmer. Look at this shimmer guys. I know you probably can't even see that. It is so, so pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. And I'm going to put that down. Okay, save a little bit in my cup. Okay, so now I have my clear with my diamond dust, and I'm going to put that over the silver part or the silver painted. Okay. Save me a little. And then my gold over the gold area. And like I said, if I were doing this on a countertop, I would do one or the other. I probably wouldn't do both. Well, maybe. Who knows? We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, right? exactly. Now, I do have a little more white mixed up, but this white is mixed up to look like skim milk. It's still the opaque dye, but I've mixed it very transparent, okay? Unlike the whole milk, this is skim milk, 
And the reason we do that is to give us depth. As we start mixing the colors, we want depth. And by mixing two tones, you get that. All right, torch this out. All right, take my hand. And again, we're gonna start melding. And I don't wanna get that black in there quite yet. Some of it may mix a little bit right here. Get it mixed. So you're, you can see that gold through your clear and through that opaque white. All right, now I'm gonna start kind of bl blending it with my black to kind of get my edges. Erica said you muted it. I muted it. I did. I muted it. And I'm just going to kind of run lightly. Just with that black that's on my hand. All right. Now, clean my hands off here. Pro tip for you guys, before you get started doing a project, if you'll take your paper towels, the ones that are the select size, and you will uh, saturate them with alcohol, put them in a pile, that way you can grab them and before you grab your torch or your heat gun or anything else, and you'll keep your area clean. All right. Yeah, that's a pro fact for sure. Right, Ron? What? It's a pro fact. That is a pro fact. All right, so I'm going to take my stick, and I'm just going to start running those lines and kind of blending it in. Just waking up those micas that are in there. You can even see how, if you want, you can take some of that white and you can very lightly run it over here in the black area. I don't want to get too much of that black back in that white. Take my white again, run it a little bit over here. So this is a very high contrast type of a design. You can even make it a little more where it kind of flows a little bit more, where it's not quite so straight. Kind of get it more of a flow. All right, now I'm gonna get some spray paint. We've got white spray paint. I come down the middle. And just start melding that in there. And as you start melding, that spray paint's going to start really kind of mixing and causing some really neat designs. And that gold and that silver are just peekabooing through that surface. You can even take your hands, guys, and your fingers and rub it in. Got plenty of time. I'm using art coat, even though I'm doing black. You could use regular. I would use the art coat mainly because of this white vein. You could take your fingers, run it through, take a little bit of that white, Very soft. Now, come over here with some alcohol.
spritz your top. And look at that. Look at the depth you're getting here. Now, I like the silver, but I really like the gold. I think the gold is really pretty. And by very lightly, see how there's a light fog of that white spray paint? It's just barely sitting on the top. Mm -hmm. By hitting it with that alcohol, you have one more layer of a very soft, soft color. And look at this, where I ran my fingers with the spray paint. Now, I could see this definitely done as an accent on uh, maybe an island where you just want one big, bold statement. Peace. Look at the depth here. Isn't that pretty? That gold is just, it looks like you just want to grab it. Yeah, I really like that. And I like how, as we're leaving it alone, how it's, it's continuing to kind of do its thing. Now, I've got a little bit of diamond dust left. I'm going to do the diamond dust on the silver side and we'll do the gold dust on the, on the other side. So I'm going to run some veins. And I'll run some through this white. Now by putting that clear down through this white, it's going to look like it's just that those, it's like an aggregate just kind of goes down into the piece. Now I would wait, if I weren't on a live, I would probably wait 30 minutes or so before I do this because I want this epoxy to kind of stop moving. And so I would wait. And then by waiting, when I add these veins, they would stay nice and crisp. Now this is the gold. The gold dust mixed into the clear. And I'm gonna come over here and put it in the black. Wow, that gold dust on that black is so pretty. And I don't think you guys can, I'm not real sure you guys will be able to see it in being black. We'll turn the light off here in just a minute. Um, look at that. Can y'all, can you see that right there? I don't know if y'all can or not. Holy cow, it's pretty. So if you had a big island, I could see, like I said, I could see this just being an accent piece on that big island and then having just a really contrasting countertops. Now, these little surface tensions that you see right here, show them that, Kenny. See that little surface tension right there? That's caused by alcohol. All you want to do is tap those and they'll close up and let me let me kind of talk to y'all about this actually I had a couple of people ask me uh, maybe today I forget what happened is they did a countertop and they didn't catch the surface tension when it happened and their color coat cured overnight and what happened is they actually the little divot was still there but they saw down to the color of the substrate. So they didn't like that color because the color was a different than what the actual finish was. So what you can do if that ever happens to you guys is don't panic. Get you some paint or something that matches the surrounding color of the epoxy and just faux finish tap that, that area of that substrate that you can see. If you'll tap it out kind of blend it in so you really can't tell that it's the substrate color. And then when you flood that, 
your clear epoxy is gonna go into that divot and you will not even see it. So um, that's one way to fix it. Now, if it makes a divot and the substrate is the same color as all the, all the surrounding epoxy and you really can't tell it's down to the substrate, don't even paint it, just flood it and it'll be fine, it'll be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a torch one more time and then we're gonna play a little bit. Now you don't wanna, you don't wanna heat this too much. You don't want all of this to run, all right? If I, if I were to come in here and torch all of this spray paint where I fractured it, all of these little cells would go away, all right? So we don't want that. All right, so now let's add a little bit of gold. Now, this is a gold. Here, can you show them this right here? This gold is different. Now, this is one of those fast, fast drying golds. See that? That's, those, that's the kind of gold that floats on top. When I do a vein with this kind of gold, it's going to float. It's not going to sink down. So I'm just going to come over here and real lightly, I'm going to touch. Now, I can fracture that with alcohol, but I have to fracture it immediately or it's or it it'll dry and then you won't get any kind of reaction when you hit it with the alcohol now if you don't want it to fracture you want it just to stay more of a distinct line you could do that as well oops the wrong thing here. You can get really fine lines or you can kind of come in with a flat part of your stick and lay it down. What's the gold? This is, uh, it's just oh. called Rust-Oleum Metallic. It's the one that's got the little flower on the front. Okay, so if you want more of a kind of a, a larger vein where it kind of melds into there, just take the flat part of your stick and move it down and you'll get a little bit bigger vein. Now there's another way you can do that as well. Let me see if I have any clear, if I have any clear epoxy left. Let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here with, a, I have a little bit of clear epoxy left in my cup, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna spray this. Okay, now I mixed it with the epoxy and I'm gonna run a vein. All right. Now, since this has epoxy, this vein's gonna kind of spread out just a little bit. Does it melt in that cup? Well, not really because I have epoxy in there. Now, if I were to pour it straight or if I were to pour uh, spray paint a lot of it in there, it probably would melt my cup. Now, if I, if I went straight in this cup without any epoxy at all, you could bet your bottom dollar that it would melt the cup. So I'm just kind of bringing these veins in here, kind of playing. Now, if you do it with the epoxy, okay, then if you come back with alcohol and hit it, you can get a little bit of a reaction when you hit it with the alcohol. Now, if you do mix that gold with the epoxy, you're not gonna get that vivid, vivid, high metallic like this. Okay, you're gonna get more of a, a, a muted, muted, a muted gold. You see that? Let's put some in the white. Let's see what happens if we put some of this in the white.
Oh, that's kind of pretty. I'm running out of gold, though. So this is still the gold that's mixed in with the epoxy. And let's see, we can take some of that. Here's it straight from the can. Again. We'll just hit it with this. Now, when you notice when I put it straight from the can, when you lay it on that surface, see how it kind of spreads out? So be prepared for that, all right? So don't add this on a piece that you've not practiced with and you don't know what to expect. Make sure you do some sample boards and that way you kind of know what to expect. All right, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of alcohol. Well, maybe. There, it hit, it re oh, look at that, that's pretty. So by putting that gold on top and then having that gold peekaboo here through that clear, it really does look 3D. Now, I have never used this Ace Hardware aluminum on top of epoxy. Okay, I've never done that. Uh, I do know that I used Ace Hardware brand gray spray paint, their gloss gray. And when I put it into the epoxy, it turned green. So we were doing a Carrera marble in class and all of a sudden I had a green, I had green, green Carrera. It was, it was crazy. So just be really careful. All right, so here's the, here's the aluminum. Oh, hey, it doesn't look bad. Can you show him this? Okay, hold on. Hold on. He's reading something, I think. So the, the aluminum actually is not doing too bad either. Look at it. It's kind of staying on top as well. Yeah, that kind of looks neat. Let's see if it let's see if it fractures if we hit it with the alcohol. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. So yeah, it's not as vivid, it seems, as the gold. It doesn't have as much of a shimmer, in my opinion. But I like it. But yeah, it does look pretty. Okay, so guys, I guess I'll have to give it a thumbs up. If you can't find spray paint, go to Ace Hardware and get their gloss enamel. And this is the, um, it just says chrome aluminum gloss. So, works good. Okay. So, I really like that. I don't know if I, personally, if I were doing this as a finish, I'm not sure I would do all of this because it's really busy. I would probably do my main vein and then maybe just have a touch of the gold ever so often. But, I actually... Uh, was at the uh, car dealership today and the bathroom <laughs> I don't know if y'all do this but I do this the bathroom um, in the uh, the dealership their marble was actually black like this and it had gold running all through it didn't have any white but it had gold running all through it and it <laughs> looks a lot like this and it was really pretty so so we had a there couple things. Um, it said cover one of the color or the corners with aluminum, and then do an Italian drip on it, and then another one was tilt it. Oh, okay, like fog it. Yeah, like aluminum? fog it, and then. Okay, let's let's do the tilt first. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll heat it up just a little bit. All right. I'm really, fly over this before I do this. Guys, pretend the white's not there. Pretend that you're just doing a black slab with maybe just a little bit of that white in the background. This is actually amazing. 
It is so pretty. I don't, Back up a little bit. I don't think you guys can see the depth of where the little tiny bit of the spray paint oversprayed. Let me just shut the here, light. Here, let me turn the lights off. Which one do you want to turn off? All these? This side. Just this side over here. That would be... Rhonda, no. What? The overheads. Oh, the overheads. Okay. What do y'all think about that? Can y'all see it? The overspray that I did of the white, the really light, light fogging, you couldn't tell when I first did it. But now that it's set for just a little bit, look at the shadowing. Yeah, you could see it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I was in Bucky's actually the other day, and they had a cutting board that was black like this with a white stripe going down the middle. This could easily be that. Can you tell the depth on the camera over the gold underneath? Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm gonna heat heat it just a little bit so that I can get it to tilt because it's been sitting here for just a little bit. So I'm gonna heat it up. Again, you don't wanna go crazy with your heat because it's gonna make all your cells kind of go away. I'm torching, but I'm torching at a distance that I'm not getting real, real, real close. So it's, the white's definitely moving. Okay. So that's pretty. It did soften that vein up a bit. Kind of opened up some of the clear. Oh yeah. Gave you some squigglies. Somebody the other day in our uh, RK3 insiders ask how do you get those squiggly lines that she couldn't reduplicate those and that is how you do it by tilting you're going to get these little squiggly lines and that was the spray paint from the spray paint that i laid down earlier All right, so let's do the aluminum spray. Now, I'm not a big fan of doing the aluminum, any of the metallics to do an Italian drip on, uh, just because the metallic sits on the surface. So you're not gonna really get the same kind of fracture that you'll get. I'm gonna do it right here. You ready? Okay. All right, I'm not gonna spray it real heavy, okay? And I'll come in here. Yeah, see it just, to me it just doesn't fracture nice because it, it, it sits on the top. So you really don't see a lot, and you have to do it immediately because this, this kind of metallic is a fast drying metallic. Now squirt it. Yeah, see, it's already, now the alcohol, it's already dried. The alcohol is just sitting on top of the paint. So I'm really not a huge fan 
of fracturing metallic. Unless you want that look. Well, unless you want that look. Like I said, I'm not a fan. <laughs> but let's do this while we still have time. Okay. Let's do this. I'm just kind of dragging that stick. It's really starting to kind of set up a bit. There we go. Maybe we saved it a little bit. So that alcohol gets on top of that spray paint and it can't go anywhere. So by kind of dragging, I'm kind of forcing some reactions with the epoxy and that, that on top of there. Yeah, so let's see if I can hit it now what will happen. So now I'm going to hit it again with some alcohol. Now that I've kind of pushed it down, I'm getting a little bit more of a reaction. Still not a fan. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking though. Yeah, I guess. I'm not a big fan of it. Now, you know what will be fun? Let's do this, guys, since we're having fun. Let's take black spray paint and let's fog over the top of the white vein. Actually, let's just go over the whole thing. How about that? Very lightly. See what happens. I mean, since we're playing and since y'all aren't letting me stop, I'm going to take advantage of it. All right, here we go. Black. Now I'm not opaque over it. You can still kind of see the white, okay? Big drops first. You're almost out. I'm almost out of alcohol. <laughs> And also, this epoxy has been sitting here quite a while. All right, then little spot, little drips. I do big drips first, then little drips. Now, I've really gone a lot of alcohol on this piece, and I would never want to do that if I were do. I mean, I've, I've really put quite a bit on the surface because we've been playing with it. But you're going to have to give this time to do do its thing now it's not gonna it's not gonna react immediately plus our epoxy starting to set up quite a bit so the reaction is gonna take a little longer now I don't like this at all because this is overspray from where the aluminum was I don't like that but yeah not liking this at all we should have stopped five times ago how about that yeah well now you know. Now you know. See? You can go too far. What? What? Did I say that? Yeah. I didn't say that. Did I say that? I think you did. Wow. Okay, so you can go too far. Rhonda should have walked away about three steps ago. All right. But uh, anyway, this is kind of looking cool. So... Okay, so what do y'all think? Tell me what part you like the best. Hey, babe, your camera's shaking. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> That's the camera. Um, okay, so how did y'all like that? Tell me, tell me what was your favorite part? Kind of where would you have stopped? Because we obviously went way past the no-fly zone here and kind of went crazy. But I think the original piece that we did where we had the white and you can see all the depth, I think that's really a pretty, a pretty piece. So let me know. All right, guys. So I don't know if you all watched the, the live that we did uh, from the RV, uh, the uh, show thing that we went, gutted, that we went to. <laughs> well, you have trouble with that I name, know, huh? I know. I do. I do. I don't so, understand that one. 
We were at a reality show this weekend called Gutted, and it's going to air in March on Blank Space. All right, that's a, that's a streaming app called Blank Space. And season one is already on there for free, and season two will be coming out in March. And it is a competition where uh, you have a team of seven, and they have five days to completely redo a gutted, one was a little RV, one was a bus, and one was a van. So it's really a lot of fun. So it was a lot of applications where you can use the epoxy, and that's why we were there. Um, okay, so we are, I have my 2023 schedule set as Do far you? as the pro class. Yes, I haven't put in the other classes yet, but the pro class is set. We'll have our first one at the end of January, and we're going to do them every six weeks. So I will have all of that posted by Friday on the website, along with uh, some of our other classes that we're going to be filling in. And somebody told me that a little birdie leaked it, that we're going to be doing flooring classes and river table classes. And that little birdie was right. So look for those classes coming soon. We haven't finalized everything yet, but we are so excited to be able to add that to our class lineup. Um, the, the river table classes are gonna be amazing. Um, I've got a field trip set for everybody to go to an actual um, place where they do the slabs and they, I mean, it's amazing. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, anyway, so we are gonna be offering free shipping through the end of the year. Yay! Yay. And uh, that's going to be automatically applied for orders over $100. All right, that's important, guys. Free shipping on orders over $100. We do same day shipping as long as you order before noon Central Time. We also do contractor and bulk pricing. So hit me up if you have a contractor. Uh, and you do bulk ordering, let me know and we will do that. We're also going to start carrying the flooring. Uh, a new flooring formula is coming up, guys, coming out, guys. So probably by the end of the year. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I will be carrying that as well. Okay, I think that's it. So I am going to go to bed because I'm running on adrenaline here and it's about my, my tank is empty. So I do want to ask. Please, if you guys will do me a favor, um, my little dog, Gremlin, got hurt, and his little leg is hurt, and he's already had surgery once, and he's hurt again, and so if you guys could give me a quick prayer for my little dog, I appreciate it, um, and uh, just, just a little prayer, I appreciate it, for his name is Gremlin. And we're gonna go to the vet tomorrow, and we're gonna—he's every—he's gonna be fine. I know he's gonna be fine, but just if y'all could just say a little prayer, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Until next week, I will see you on YouTube. All right, guys, love you. Talk to you soon. Remember, guys, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. Bye. Adios. <laughs>